Morning guys and ladies, it's Cornei. Today is Wednesday the 9th of November 2017. Um, I have a very nice week. So far yesterday I was up 357 pips and I just banked another 30 pips. So I'm very close to 400 pips for, for, the, day, for the week, for 3 days, 4 days, 387 now. So we have 387 pips now. Alright, um, I'm going to be busy making this YouTube and then price just rocket hit my take profit and boom, it's finished. But so I look at it, it re, for a reason to re-enter again, which I did and I'm going to show you guys where I did re-enter and why. Now I'm looking at the CAT JPY daily. First of all, um, what I like to show you guys is we only take trades with a trend so first of all let's look at the trend of a pullback you can call it anything of those two don't doesn't matter first of all look at the, the highs there's a high this high is lower than this high and this high is lower than this high so we see the highs are getting lower then we could go to the lows we have a loading a lower low and another lower low so the highs are getting lower and the, the and the lows are getting lower that's a a downtrend doesn't matter if it can be in a pullback or it can be the main trend doesn't matter right now another thing what I want to show you guys um, we have a swing low here you see and price went up this bar breaks a swing low and the price just retraces back to the swing low now on a daily what I see, first saw which make me exciting is what we call a pattern I call a CL. I make a YouTube, uh, what is a CL? It stands for Cornell Logic. Uh, very simple, let me explain to you. On a CL, we, uh, the market, we expect the market to do something, then the market do the opposite, so it's bluffing. Um, but, and, but the next bar, it, it corrects, and that is where I enter. Now, first of all, look at this bar. We have a bull bar of a week, that week indicates it want to go the opposite then we have another bar with a week also indicate that and the inside bar show tell me this thing want to go down the next bar did go down and it closed as a bearish engulfing very strong bar indicate this thing want to go down we even have a pattern what you can call an evening star a very strong bar indicate the thing want to go down on daily the very next day the bar didn't go down as expected it did the opposite it went up so this bar is what we call a CL it's bluffing you always find it the very next bar or two bars later this you find uh, uh, found that so there's a very very high chance that that this bar is gonna close down today very high you can look at the end of the day I'm quite sure this bar will close down because of the CL right then another thing is let's look at support and resistance if you look left you can see look at the weeks this area was respected again it's respected there again and look here it was respected go farther left you, again it is respected another thing on a daily this the price is currently at a very nice um what we call fabonazzi level let me show you if you go there I, if i draw it from this the high the highest high to the lowest low draw of the Nazis, you look at the retracement level here is 50, um, which is also a very magnificent level for price to retrace on a daily. Um, if I draw it from the, this is from the highest high till the highest low, if I draw from the most recent high till the most recent low, it also come uh, in a very nice Fibonacci of 61.8, which is a golden ratio it's even a better level for a retracement at a resistance area. All these things which I just talked here on a high, the higher time frame tell me if I get reasons to short, I have a high probability to win. Right, now let's go to the next part. Alright, the next slide um, is a 4 hour on the CAD JPY. Now look here, we have a M. Price went up, couldn't go higher, come down, couldn't go higher, come down. And we have a bearish engulfing pattern here. And look what happened to the price. It drops 50 pips. Now, the guys who follow me, I uh, entered there at that top. And I was in, uh, my take profit I think was 30 pips. But doesn't matter. 
and make profit there. Now again, we have, you see we have a swing low here, this bar breaks a swing low, which makes this area magnificent. If we can get a reason here to short, it will drop. Now look what happened at that level. Price came there, and we have a bearish engulfing at that level. Very strong area. But it is an hour before this bar has to close. Usually I wait for the bar to close before I enter. But there is another secret. From experience, I can tell if this thing will close, and it can close very far. Because of this pannier. You see that pannier? That's about 10 pips. So this is what we call a stop hunt. So basically, um, the money makers, they know the people who short here, they uh, put their stops there, and this bar just came, and as it come to that level, they open the spreads, and they take out all the stops there at the top, and then they pull it back. Once they did thing like that, they will not go back again. They did the same here. Look here, when news came out, there's another pin there. That's about 15 pips. So what they did, did here, before they pull it down, they went up, take out all the stops of these areas here, they open the spreads, and then they take it, it go higher, and take out all the stops f f of the guys here, which was short, and now they take it down. Once they take out the stops there, there's no reason for them to go up again. Same thing is happening here. This is what we call a stop hunt. Right, so I enter only one trade there, and because I know there's a small chance this thing can close way down here and then um, the next bar it may retrace but not that far all right that's why i did it now let's go to the next slide okay next slide you can see it already move lower it already moved lower but look here we have hidden divergence remember hidden divergence is another reason for me I, i'm i'm looking for reasons that i'm doing the right thing so I'm looking at support and resistance, I look at Fibonacci's, I look at hidden divergence, I look at divergence, whatever. Hidden divergence is always worth a trend. You never take hidden divergence against a trend. So the trend is down, as you remember from the daily. And now look here, price is making a lower low, but the RSI is making a higher high. So it did, that, did the opposite. That is what we call hidden divergence, meaning but there's a tendency for the trend to go down, all right? Now, where's my take profit? My take profit is this line here. It's about um, 30 pips from where I entered there. The reason why I put it here, if you look left, we price went up, couldn't go higher. We have a swing, a swing high. So at that point, I put the line there, and I want to also do, my take profit must be above this, H4 support line. H4 support line can be at magnificent uh, blockage. So I want to take profit before that blockage. And uh, again, I'm looking here. There is a BB, but bowling band. It's inside the bowling band because a BB can also be resistance. So this is one where I decided to to um, to put my take profit. Right. Now let's go to the next one. On the next one, this is one I'll show you. As I did this, the, the price rocket down. Hit, look here, exactly, exactly. Hit my take profit, and I'm 30 pips in the money. Uh, let me, how do I shift this thing? Um, I want to shift it now. Okay, you can, guys can see this 30, 30 pips in the money, and I'm out of that trade. All right, let's go to the next chart. Because now it hit my take profit, it didn't close there, and it retraced up, and there's now a bull bar. So if I put my profit lower, I, I wouldn't bank the 30 pips. I would still be in a trade. You know, it's always good to bank. Anything about 30 pips, 20 pips up, bank it. Um, because there's no guarantee this price will ever come down again. Okay, now let's go to the next slide. You see it's going higher again. See, so if I didn't take profit here, actually I lose everything from day till day. Okay, let's go to the next chart. Now, I'm out of a trade. Now I'm looking for reasons to re-enter again. I look at the 5 minute price went up. It's moving away from the band, which is good news. Telling me um, there's some weakness is coming. Go to the next bar. And look here, price 
So this is price action. Price went up. Um, it moves away from the band weakness. Uh, I look at this bull bar. This bull bar, you can see it's getting tired. We, then I have a bearish engulfing pattern. And the bearish engulfing pattern is telling me there's a low. We have a lower low. It's telling me now suddenly we um the thing is going down because the lows are getting lower. Now there's a high. This high is lower than that high. So we have a low, a lower low. Tell me this thing want to go down. As this bar came here, I entered two times. Boom, boom. So I'm in that trade now. Um, let's look how it looks on the, on, on the daily. Yes, there it is. So actually, I was hoping this price will retrace back to this level here. But it didn't. Um, so I entered there and already retraced. There's still a small chance because as New York going to open, uh, I mean London, um, price can retrace to this level but there's also a chance it just can drop so from here till there there's another 13 uh, one free pips um, let's see what's gonna happen um, I already in I put my stop loss higher there um, my take profit I I move it if I'm peak target it's another 20 pips um, the reason why I put it here, I just put it lower than the previous one because this one was, was already hit. The trend looks down. Um, it's above the H4, that's why I put it there. Still above the, the swing low there, just a little bit lower. Um, and it's also above the BB bands, that's why I put it there. So if I hit it, that will be another 20 pips. So far, I'm 30 pips in the money. Great. Okay, guys. Um, you know, I make 30 pips on a trade. Some people tell me, well, that's not a lot. You know what? I trade 1 to 400. If, if you if you trade, if you never trade 1 to 400 gearing, um, you will not understand what I just say now. It's big gearing, very big. You know, most traders, they will trade 1 to 20, 1 to 50, maybe 1 to 100. Um, because of a risk. It is huge, huge risk. You must have very high confidence in your strategy um, and your system and your skill if you go to 1 to 400 it's, it's, it's like crazy now I think from next week I'm going to I'm going to push myself I'm going to take my gearing to 1 to 500 I never have done it um, I know 1 to 400 I can handle 1 to 500 I'm not sure well I'm sure Otherwise, I won't do that. That's a, the confidence I have. I will be just be more cautious um, before I enter because it's huge risk. Um, if it go against you, you must have a lot of confidence. Uh, regarding the to trade my, my uh, to copy my trades, um, it's still going well. Um, I will tell next week which broker it will be, um, and. I would like to give a, the normal person opportunity to join. So, you know, the minimum, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to push it for $50. Um, so, it, you know, if you really don't, you don't need to have a lot of money to, 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 to get the chance. I sit here for 20 hours a day. I ha that's just my personality. This is what I love. This is what I'm good at. Most people don't have 20 hours to look at all the charts. Um... That's also fine, um, so they can get they can get advantage of, of the copy trades. Um, you don't need to put in a lot of money. Start small, see how it goes, and um, take it one day at a time. Um, another thing is, guys, I also uh, open a Skype group because most of the time, as I show, I, I, when I when I spot the setup, by the time I finish with the YouTube. The four hours is most of the time is enough time to enter, but sometimes things like this happen. By the time the YouTube is finished, I hit my profit. Boom! Once you look at the um, YouTube is finished, you can't enter. So with a Skype group, as I spawn it, um, I will put it there, and if you're part of that Skype group, you can watch it, um, and maybe even it's on your demo, you get the confidence because it's one thing to enter as it happened and it's another thing to see what would have be the output